Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 experience and today we're going to the more obscure unknown locations i.e. the ones that are at sea. Okay, so we're going to swim over there which shouldn't take too long and let's see what's over there. So I've never been here before uh, and there's a radio on which is interesting. Leave something behind, find an empty box, leave something behind. So there's stuff to take here, so it's definitely, I would say, an unmarked location, because also there's beds here. Well, that bed can't be used, but those two sleeping bags can be used, definitely. Okay, so whenever I find a bed in an unmarked location and it's safe, I uh, sleep in it for an hour, you know, uh, just in case it sort of gives me some sort of, I don't know, well, for, a bit, for want of a better word, affinity, you know, uh, uh, whatever that means. Um, yes, unmarked location affinity, that sounds like a good one, doesn't it? Okay, so enough of the theories, let's see what's in here. So I've been having a good time without the power suit. I mean, I've got enough power cores. I can use the power suit, but I thought I'd like to just... Uh, I've got uh, Curie now. She's a human uh, in a power suit, and I'm not in a power suit. And that chooses what kind of danger we're going to get into. Okay, so we've got some a moot fruit. I'm going to drop a moot fruit here and see if it grows. Uh, who knows? You know, it could go either way. And go around to the front because there's something around there that I'm very, very interested in and it's the bell, which I heard just now ring. Uh, why it rang, I don't know, but I'm gonna go investigate it. As you may know, you probably do know that there's quite a, a lot of uh, stuff on the internet about the bells in Fallout 4, that uh, there could be a sequence or something like that. Uh, I've been going around the, the shoreline shooting at the bells, but if you get into the water and go up to it, it actually gives you the option of ringing the bell. So and that's what I'm going to do. Now, I found quite a few unknown locations, one could uh, envisage, uh, in various places, in, mostly inland with bells attached to them, and the same thing applies, you can ring the bells. When I read about swimming, I imagined something less contaminated. So I've rung the bell and I'm going to make off to my next location, which is that boat over yonder. So I'm going to get over there. And as we go, I will just dip into the water and you can actually see, and I've seen another boat has turned up, uh, just below the water line, if you position yourself as you swim along, you can actually see what's on the sea floor. And so I'm going to use this method for finding various wrecks, which might be unknown or unmarked locations. Depends if they've got any beds in there or things to take. So, let's get over to that boat before it gets too dark. Okay, so that'll do for this video. If you want to see what happens at the next uh, location, which is basically an airplane crashed on a boat, so catch up with my next video and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.